this is not a great board to see that um, with aces. It's not a bad one either. I've got backdoor straight draw. Sorry, backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw. Obviously, I have most of the time they fold. I already have the best hand. Um, and I may also have Johnster just slightly on his heels um, and not want to play a pile with me. I don't know. That's a very interesting card. Uh, my hand just got a lot better and less. Let's see, he has an eight somehow. What's he floating with draws? I think I'm going to check raise all in here. Pretty sure I have the best hand. And he's also, the problem is, I, I probably should value bet actually, because he's going to. I think he would pay off some with the king, and he's never going to bet it. Um, and it, he could have like a middle hand, middle run type hand with, an, with a mediocre eight that he decided to check back for a bit of pot control. That's not too likely. I mean, I, that's a really strong hand, and I think for him to, to check it if, when there's a flush draw out is um, probably not good. I don't think it's something I would expect someone to do. It's going to be interesting if he bets, because I'm not sure what he would be value betting that he wouldn't have, other than some kind of mediocre 8, which is a pretty good value bet. Um, I think I've made up my mind that I'm going to call. I saw him take what could have been that call with the draw, check behind, or the sort of the call flop, check turn, bluff river line, or a check check on turn and river line. So, I, I, yeah, let's see what he had. And, I, and I, he's enough of a thinking player to take that line with a bluff and realize that I could fold um, something like what I had. What do you have? Tens, ten, ten, six, four. Yeah, he was clearly. I mean, clearly thinking about turning it into a bluff. And um, I mean, obviously, I don't know if he does it often enough, and also how often he checks eights on the turn. Those are the two main considerations. Um, <clears throat> he really should never have a full house there. Um, it's one thing to to flat the flop with a set every now and then, but to not bet the turn after you fill up and there's two or three pot size bets behind is pretty bad. Nobody hit this flop. Most of the time, nobody hit this flop. It's really dry. If they miss, they miss, they fold. It's easy. If they hit it, they hit it really hard. <laughs> And there's no percentage if they hit it really hard and me finding a way to continue. So I bet two-thirds a pot and hope they fold. Obviously, if I turn a heart, I'm hoping for a check-check. Otherwise, I don't really care what happens because I'm, I'm giving up.